This lesson is on the square roots of decimals. We'll begin with some background information for decimals and square roots. Decimal 01 is equal to 1 over 100. And decimal 0001 is equal to 1 over 10,000. This would mean the square root of decimal 01 would be the same as the square root of 1 over 100, and the square root of decimal 0001 would be the same as the square root of 1 over 10,000. We also know the square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 100 is 10. Remember, when finding square roots, you're thinking what times itself is equal to the radicand, or the number inside the square root. And we know 10 times 10 is equal to 100. The square root of 10,000, if you remember our rule about zeros, has four zeros inside the square root. That means our answer would have two zeros, and our answer is going to be 100. If we put all this information together, we can get the square root of 1 over 100 is 1 over 10, and the square root of 1 over 10,000 is 1 over 100. Now, to put this back in decimal form, this would mean the square root of decimal 01 is 1 tenth, or 0.1. And the square root of decimal 0001 is 1 one hundredth, or decimal 01. When taking the square roots of decimals, notice when we have two decimal places inside the square root, we have one decimal place in our answer. When we have four decimal places inside the square root, it becomes two decimal places in our answer. Let's use this information to find the square root of other decimals. What would the square root of decimal 3, 6 become. We know the square root of 36 is 6, and two decimals would become one decimal. Let's evaluate the following square roots and apply our rule. In the first question, 0 0.0009, we have four decimals, so the answer should have two decimals. We also know the square root of 9 is 3, so our answer would be decimal 0, 03. For the center square root there, 0, 000, 0, 0.000049, we have six decimal places, and we know our answer would have three decimal places. The square root of 49 is 7, so our final answer would be decimal 007. In our last question, the square root of decimal 0144, we have four decimal places. Our answer will have two decimal places. We know the square root of 144, or we should know the square root of 144 is 12, so our answer would be decimal 12. Notice for all these examples that we used, we had perfect square numbers. If you also notice, we also had an even number of decimal places. For non-perfect square numbers, or an odd number of decimal places, we would need to use our methods for estimating square roots.